Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I in this tutorial, I want to show you the best way to sharpen your images in Photoshop. And if I told you to find this video helpful, I would recommend that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to so many people out there. So usually, sharpening usually happens when we slightly lose out on the focus. This tutorial is not about sharpening out of focus images. This is for focusing or slightly sharpening images that are slightly out of focus so this is sharpening images that are slightly out of focus and not out of focus images i had to put this out as a disclaimer for this tutorial so after hitting the like button on this video i want to show you how to sharpen so usually there are so many tutorials about sharpening images and one of them is using the high pass method so what i found out when you use the high pass method most of the times it tends to it tends to add some kind of black dots within uh, the image so it adds some kind of black dots you can see this image is good it looks great but you can see it is slightly out of focus and i'll show you how you can easily sharpen it to look even better so i'm just going to come and i'm going to create a copy from this image so that you can see the before and after after sharpening the image so i'm just going to come and simply press ctrl or command j on the keyboard and simply right click on this layer then I'm going to come and convert it to a smart object. The reason for doing this is because we want to change the values later on after applying them on the image. So if at all you don't convert it into a smart filter, it means after applying the sharpness or the sharpening to the image, those adjustments are going to be directly embedded on the image and you won't be able to change them later on. So that is the advantage of changing it into a smart filter or a smart objects and after that you're just going to come right here to filter then you're going to come to sharpen i know you guessed it right then come to smart sharpen so this is where the trick is going to be so you're going to get another dialog window open for you right here and it's going to be labeled or named as smart sharpen so under this we have different adjustments here we have one for zooming in and out and we have the preview so make sure the preview option is on so that you can see a sharpening in real time as you're applying it so you may be you may be having different results right here or different numbers or figures but i'm going to be explaining that in a bit so after that just come and get the hand tool and click right here so usually the most important thing that we usually want to sharpen and something that we want always in focus is the face of our subjects or our models so make sure that you use the preview window and zoom into and get me or make sure that the face is in focus or it is displaying in this uh, little preview window so that you can apply the sharpening as you're looking at the image in real time so i think this is okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take these all the way uh, down and I explain uh, them as we are working on them so amount is the amount or the intensity of the sharpening that you want on the image and if at all i take this all the way up you're going to see that it's going to apply some sharpening or a maximum amount of sharpening to the image but this is not effective because these two work hand in hand the amount and the radius always work hand in hand so if you leave the amount slider all the way up and you start playing around with the radius that's that is when you're going to be or that is when you're going to start looking or seeing uh, the details happening in real time you can see right now you're seeing the adjustments happening in real time because these two work hand in hand so for full body images and if at all you're sharpening them i would recommend that you use a radius in between three and five depending on how out of focus or how slightly blurry your images are so for this case since i'm using a full body image i'm just going to come and use the radius of around uh three pixels around 3.3 but as you're looking at the image just look at this the sharpening is a little bit too much and the image looks awkward in this case so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to remember the first thing i did i took the sharpness all the way up so if i thought this is looking a little bit awkward i'm just going to come to the amount and i'm going to take the amount all the way down and i start taking it up gradually so i first of all determine the radius i want on the image 
So I just want to start sharpening the image and gradually taking the radius up just like that. And you can see as I'm doing this, you're going to be looking at the sharpness or the sharpening really are being applied to the image in real time. You can see that the image is now getting more details and is getting uh, sharpened in this case. So I'm just going to start taking it up. Up to a point when I feel like I have the nice and nice or better spot for the sharpening that I want to be applied on the image. Remember, we are working on a smart object, meaning we can be able to change these values later on up after applying them on the image. So reduce noise. Remember, sometimes when we are sharpening the image, it sometimes introduces noise into the image. So I'm just going to come to reduce noise and just come and reduce the noise. So usually I don't recommend you to go above 10 in reducing noise in the image and make sure to reduce uh, the uh, you select motion blur so that usually when we are taking images out of focusness or blurry images are caused usually as a result of motion blur so make sure you remove that motion blur right from the images and therefore I just come and simply press or hit ok so that is going to start sharpening the image and uh, depending on how fast your PC is, it may take a few seconds to apply the sharpening. So let me just give it a few seconds and it's going to be applying this. And if at all you have found this or you're finding this helpful, don't forget to like this video. And I'm just going to forward this so that you can see the overall results. So I'm just going to be forwarding this because this is trying or it is taking forever as it is sharpening. So let me just give it a few seconds and forward this. hello welcome back and let me show you the result from the sharpening of this very image let me show you the sharpening that we have applied to this very image and i show you a quick before and after for the sharpening of this very image so look at the image right now let me just zoom in right here so that you can see everything so this is what we had uh in the before just look at the before of the image right here on the screen and just look at what we have after the before and after just look at how sharp and detailed the image has turned out to look in this case and if at all you have really uh, over sharpened very uh, some areas that you don't want to sharpen or you didn't want to sharpen in this case you can as well put uh, the sharpening in a group right here just drag and drop it in a group right here drag and drop it in a group and you can create a layer mask for the sharpening and invert that layer mask or you can paint with black in areas that you don't want to sharpen so just get a brush tool and simply get the normal brush tool and the hardness at zero percent and change this to black right here and paint with black on this white layer mask in the areas that you don't want to sharpen so this is it for this tutorial and if i told you you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel and remember if at all you want to change the values for your sharpening, you can simply double click on the sh uh, smart sharpen right here and it's going to take you back to the smart sharpen adjustment layer and you can adjust or make adjustments to your sharpening of the image and simply approve those settings. So basically this is it for this story and if at all you have this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thanks for watching. I see you need more amazing tools. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.